Welcome to your favorite health program right here on Ebru TV, which comes your way every Monday, Tuesday, and of course, Wednesday. On Monday, we just tell you what you ought to do in terms of your health. And of, of course, on Tuesday, we sit down and talk about some of the common illnesses there are and how do we prevent ourselves from them. But every Wednesday, as usual, it's a reproductive health affairs where we talk about what happens during pregnancy. What are some of the precautions that we ought to take? as men and women to just ensure that we are okay when it comes to our reproductive health and now today on the show of course we want to talk about what happens on Wednesday about reproductive but we want to focus on women my name is Purity Musel and you're watching my doctor show and as I promised today on the show we talk about what happens when we you abuse some of the products or tobacco products there are and what it may mean for you as a woman or a mother to be and also when you are pregnant and what it could mean to your unborn child that's our topic of discussion today we have a team of experts to just help us understand also what are some of the tactics that are used by the tobacco industry to just win so many people to their side especially women talk to us feel free to be part of the show we welcome you call us live the number will be displayed right at the bottom of your screen use the hashtag my doctor to speak to us on Twitter at Ebru TV Kenya and at Purity underscore Museo, or you can talk to me directly on Facebook Purity Museo, or talk to us on Facebook. Uh, we, we are Ebru TV Kenya. All right, and to help us discuss this in a little more detail, joining me or help me welcome a special guest to the studio today. Just next to me is Joe Gitali, who is the chairperson for the Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance. And seated next to him is Kellen Namusis, who is the technical advisor for Center for Tobacco Control in Africa. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my doctor show. Thank and you. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you. Yes, so maybe we could start with uh, Kellen. Why we had to have you today when it comes to matters tobacco use, especially in Kenya, because you have a wider perspective of where we are as Africa and how do we compare ourselves as a country regarding are we making strides in the efforts of ensuring that uh, some of the substances are not abused in the country. Maybe a quick introduction and what you would say, Kenya, where we are as a country. Okay, thank you, mm. Purity. Um, I'm glad to be on the show today and uh, to re uh, talk about um, a very important subject, which is tobacco use and uh, pregnancy outcomes. You know, when we talk about uh, tobacco use, many people um, take it lightly. But um, the effects of tobacco are really, you know, big. And uh, people need to be taking care of their health in terms of uh, especially the expectant mothers or what we call the pregnant mothers or those intending you know, to have babies. The, the, the biggest effect um, of, of, of tobacco on expectant mothers is the, the premature uh, deliveries. And of course, the other um, effect that we see when they deliver live babies is uh, low birth weight babies. Mm. And also there are other complications. These low birth weight babies have uh, later on complications in life because they don't grow as normal babies. They are very small babies, and then they have all these issues uh, that come with uh, low birth weight babies. The, the slow uh, uh, growth in, in terms of their normal um, life. Mm -hmm. And then also later on in future, they become you know, children or adults that are really you know, have health issues. Mm -hmm. So the, the whole um, um, effect on, on maternal health is, is really huge. The other effect that we see in terms of uh, the, the, the expectant mothers is what I talked about, the premature delivery and, uh, or, or the uh, abortions or miscarriage, uh, so to say. So many mothers who smoke actually lose their babies before they are, bo are born to term. Mm -hmm. so, and that's a big effect because it's psychological torture to the mother, but also to the family and also the father to, uh, to be. So those are all effects. And mm -hmm. then, of course, we look at um, uh, the nutrition issues um, when this uh, mother is, is expectant. The child doesn't get enough, you know, nutrients uh, as they are, you know, growing in inside the mother. Mm -hmm. And when they are born, 
it is even worse because this child is stunted. They are the children we see who get stunted because they didn't get enough nutrition. But also development-wise, they get, you know, uh, problems with development. And, mm -hmm. of course, it's a, a, a cycle, you know. Then yeah. they can't study well. Then they can't, you know, all that cycle. So what we are talking about is a real issue. And I want to connect it to substance abuse. Mm -hmm. Because usually the entry point is tobacco. And once the mother uh, gets into uh, addiction, then they, are easily, uh, they easily abuse other substances, uh, like the marijuana and, and all that. And of course, the other thing is alcohol. Mm. They also usually at, at take on alcohol. And right. now, this triple, it becomes a triple burden, you know, for this mother. Uh, and, and therefore, they are, they, 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 the outcome is usually a very negative mm -hmm. and, and that's basically what we are looking at in mm. the show, how tobacco use and mm. let's say substance abuse affects women mm. uh, when they are preparing to get uh, a mm. child and mm. also during pregnancy and also after delivery. But uh, let me welcome you once again to the show, Ju. Thank you. And, and maybe tell us where we are as a country. What are some of the commonly abused uh, drugs right now in the country? And if I may ask, I know it's an obvious question, but why are these drugs really abused? Yeah, thanks for the question. As a, a tobacco control advocate, much as um, most of the people don't want to look at tobacco as a drug of abuse, but uh, we know that it is. This is one drug that is uh, very bad, highly addictive, and is being used by many, and it is causing a lot of health problems, mm. social problems, and economic problems in the country. So tobacco, to us, is the first one. Of course, we're having nicotine. And then uh, we also have um, uh, marijuana. People really abuse it. You've heard of cases of people behaving funny in some parts of the country, and when you ask, you are told those people uh, abuse drugs. That is the major thing that they do. We have heard about things like hashish and even cocaine uh, being used, especially along the coast, and um, uh, by, by the, mostly by the youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, we have alcohol, of course. Also, people keep saying drug abuse and alcohol, but we, uh, looking at a drug as any substance, which when used to change is or alters the work, how the body works normally, then we say even alcohol is a, is a drug. Mm -hmm. So th these are uh, the major ones that are being um, abused here. With some having been derived from tobacco, of course, when you talk about uh, Kuber, um, and other such like things, uh, shisha, those are uh, tobacco products that mm -hmm. are being abused in the country. Yeah, so that's where we are now, and um, the numbers are going up every day um, because of various reasons mm -hmm. that we have talked about before. But then we are doing um, something about it. The, the government is uh, doing a lot and uh, the civil societies. Mm -hmm. But we are still saying that uh, whatever we are doing is not enough actually to bring the situation down. Mm -hmm. Because as uh, my colleague has said, we have so many problems that come with this. And um, maybe just to add to what she has said about um, expectant mothers, you mm -hmm. know, the effects of tobacco on the body, um, the, the toxins mm -hmm. that are taken into the body actually affects, uh, affect the child that is developing. And even before conception, uh, there is a problem. Uh, some of these ladies that don't get children mm -hmm. is as a result of abusing tobacco. Mm -hmm. Then even those who end up getting children or conceiving miscarry or they, they, we have still birth, somebody's mourning the death of uh, an, an unborn child. When they are the ones who have engineered that, miscarriages, you have uh, used the tobacco, it has affected you and you, you, you are complaining, you are disturbing doctors, you are mm -hmm. disturbing pastors to pray for you to see a miracle, not mm -hmm. you want to see the hand of God <laughs> after you have done so funny things to yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, the situation in which we are, and men are suffering, especially when you talk to women. They'll tell you even if they don't smoke themselves, they are exposed to secondhand smoke, mm -hmm. and that is uh, equally bad. So you might not be smoking directly, but you are a second-hand smoker, mm -hmm. and the results would be the same. So we have so many of those cases. Uh, 
uh, of course, well, as we have already said, uh, when you use uh, the tobacco, alcohol, and that, the blood vessels are affected. Mm -hmm. They harden, they get constricted, so that blood doesn't flow well in the body. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it denies the developing child in the womb the necessary nutrients. Yeah. That's when the child is already malnourished before birth. Now you are giving birth to something that looks like a human being actually, mm. but you have already destroyed, it's no longer a human being. You're really so, making it look bad. Yeah, right? so <laughs> you know, you will spend the rest of your life mm. in hospital with mm. a child mm. because of your own irresponsible behavior. Yeah. So that's what we are saying that uh, especially our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, we can have a very healthy country if you take care of yourself, you avoid these drugs, and then you also keep away from even second-hand mm. smoking. Right. Yeah. All right, keep talking to us. The number to call us live is displayed right at the bottom of your screen. Some of the effects tobacco use has for women who are thinking or hoping of getting a child in the future or who are pregnant, and what are the impact of that uh, tobacco use for the child after delivery? That's our topic of discussion today. The number to call us once again is displayed right at the bottom of your screen, or you can talk to us on Twitter at EbruTVKenya and at Purity underscore Musa. Use the hashtag MyDoctor. And uh, Kellen Namusisi, you are coming all the way from Uganda, but at the same time, you are an advisor to Kenya and you are from tobacco control from it's it's center for tobacco control in africa maybe uh, what joe is saying where are we as a country are we doing good as a country when you compare with other uh, countries african countries and just before you could answer that maybe let's define i think we went far uh, before defining what tobacco use is and how did you find ourselves abusing these substances especially in africa because you told me the rates are really high right now okay mm. Thank you, Purity. Um, <clears throat> to start with, where is Kenya? Mm. Kenya is actually best practice in, in tobacco control. It's one of the f uh, top five countries in Africa in terms of uh, implementing uh, tobacco control based on what we call the World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, which uh, we have many African countries that have signed and ratified. And many of them, of course, have not uh, done policy implementation, uh, domesticating that uh, treaty much as they've signed. But Kenya has gone um, a, a big stride in implementing uh, tobacco control. And um, um, in relation to uh, probably this topic of today is that uh, many African countries haven't taken on, haven't taken off because in terms of um, uh, tobacco cessation, because uh, the, the most important uh, uh, measure to support especially women or young girls who are smoking or expectant mothers is to, in to integrate uh, tobacco cessation in maternal and child health care, especially the antenatal care uh, service. And when you look at Africa, we're not doing very well. And uh, although Kenya launched uh, the guidelines on, on cessation, tobacco cessation, which is a very uh, big stride towards um, supporting especially expectant mothers, uh, to quit those that are, are, um, are smoking. Mm -hmm. And the second measure is the smoke-free environment, which also Kenya has taken on uh, very well. They are designated uh, smoking areas, and the cities um, in, in Kenya, the Nairobi's and, and, and the rest, are really have really taken on um, addressing uh, smoke-free environments. But we still see high exposure in homes mm -hmm. and this is where the mothers are this is where our daughters are this is where our sisters and and uh, are in terms of uh, uh, exposure so like my colleague mentioned secondhand smoke exposure is high and when you look at the young people who are the next mothers um, over 48 percent of them are actually exposed in public places mm -hmm. and when we talk about public places we look at schools hospitals uh, universities a public transport and so on. And then the other worrying statistic is that you find about 30% of them are exposed in their homes. So that's a general picture in Africa. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, again, going back to Kenya, Kenya has taken on big strides, but they need now to operationalize those guidelines and train health workers to help mothers assess them in terms of tobacco use and then um, also support them in, uh, to quit but also inform them about the secondhand smoke, which is very, very dangerous also, mm. because uh, no smoking level is safe. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a primary smoker or you're a secondhand smoker, it's all dangerous mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to your health. 
Now, in terms of what tobacco is, tobacco is a substance um, and it is grown. It is actually a legal crop because uh, 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 it, it is a business that is, uh, that is legal um, globally. But also it is a substance that has got nicotine in it and it kills actually half of its users. So it's mm -hmm. dangerous because once uh, the tobacco goes through the manufacturing, it is engineered. Mm -hmm. There are other additives that are, are added flavors and other chemicals. And we currently, science shows that it has over 7,000 uh, chemicals. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, about more than say, uh, 20 or uh, two, uh, sorry, 200 of them cause cancer are carcinogenic. So this is how tobacco becomes a, a dangerous uh, substance. Mm. It is grown and it is a business, but it is a dangerous uh, mm. business because right. it kills half of its users if taken as by, uh, instructed by the, 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 the tobacco industry. Mm. Now, um, uh, tobacco is also consumed in different forms. We have this, the, this tobacco that is smoked. Or, or what we call the, the, the smoked products, mm -hmm. which include the cigarette, roll your own. This is where our grandmothers just pick the leaf, put it in a, a paper and they roll and, and, uh, and smoke. We have the pipe where we have the, you know, and then they put and then put fire and then still smoke. Mm -hmm. Then we have the smokeless, which is either the green leaf itself and women do abuse that a lot, generally in Africa, mm. because especially those who grow, they just take it, put it below their tongue, or you know, put it in tea, or put it in food and eat it. So it, 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 they get addicted, mm. same way, you know, because tobacco has nicotine. So from that addiction is when they move on, you know, to the next step, either they take on a real cigarette, now they engineered, or they continue and add on another drug. You know, this is how we always say tobacco is like the gateway mm. to all the other substances. Right. So we have the smoked, the smokeless, and then now we have the new uh, product, which is the e-cigarette. Now, the, what we call the, 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 the vapes, you know, or the e-cigs, mm. you know. So, so this is like um, um, uh, uh, condensed air, and, and we have it in, in terms of um, a, a, a device mm. that has a battery, that battery is charged, it has a liquid, and that liquid is what somebody takes in as, as a vaporized you know, product, and it also contains nicotine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the other question you asked me is why do they continue to use it? It's, yeah. it's one reason, it's addictive. So the nicotine is addictive, and once it, you get addicted, you crave for more. So you keep you know, taking and taking, and before you know it, you can't you know, leave uh, the tobacco. Mm. And of course, the other reason why people take it, especially the young people, it's peer pressure. They get, you know, in two groups where you have one or two who smoke and you think it's cool. So they get, you know, uh, 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 what is it? Um, um, they get uh, brought into the, um, what is the word? The sense of belonging. Yes, yeah, sense of belonging. You know, yeah. they, they get into the habit uh, because their friends, their peers are actually mm -hmm. using. The other one is, is uh, it, because it is a brand, people mm. want to associate themselves, you know. The tobacco industry markets the product and then it markets it in such a way that everybody, especially the young people, want to identify themselves with a brand. It mm. is a brand, so it's people want to brand themselves. So if it, it, it looks cool, you know, to the young people, and, and then we find that the marketing uses a very interesting way, the industry uses a very interesting way to market, including um, uh, uh, marketing jeans, for mm. instance, clothes, perfumes, you know, cool cars, the most expensive cars and all that. So they, they market, you know, to the young people. And then the marketing is very coveted. You mm. don't see it easily. But through all these social medias and all that, the young people get to know about this and then they think it's cool. In videos, for instance, mm. in movies, they do market. Yeah. The other reason why they, people get um, to uh, smoke or to uh, uh, use or abuse substances, including uh, tobacco, is because they, they either their parents were using, mm. especially the young kids. So when you look at like the age of initiation, it's usually a very young age in Africa. So we, we, I think currently it's at nine. So you find if your parent sends you to buy the cigarette, you're also curious, why is, he, why is this a delicacy to daddy mm. or to mommy? Then you get you know, um, in, 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 in inducted into the habit. Yeah. And of course, the other one is because people are selling. It's business 
or they grow it. So if your parents grew it, it's, it's very likely that you'll also use tobacco. Mm. Or if your parents have a shop that sells, it's very easy because it's easy to pick and to use. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and now let's talk about some of the signs and symptoms. I know for, for smoking, they're very evident. But uh, Joe, maybe you could just take us through some of the signs and symptoms that you can tell that someone, my colleague or my friend, is smoking. And when do we say that the effect that we will be looking at, when do they begin to manifest themselves? Maybe after how long mm. after someone may be asking if, for example, I use uh, tobacco, I smoke for, let's say, three or two months, is it the, the impact, will it be the same with the person who's been smoking for the rest of their lives, maybe for years? Yeah, we have signs of uh, somebody who smokes, mm. and you can look at them and see that this one is a smoker, for example, you will just look at their fingers and you see most of them have got uh, fingers um, that are black because of uh, not just the smoke, but um, uh, uh, tobacco has tar, mm. uh, which makes their fingers dirty because they keep on holding and holding until now that tar is, is sticks. It's very hard for it to actually uh, leave their fingers. And then uh, you can also look at their mouth. You mm -hmm. look at uh, these people's mouth and you can see the mouth is uh, usually dry. And um, uh, some is even burned somehow. Because uh, some of them struggle even to smoke until it is really, uh, it, it goes and it, mm. the fire gets to their lips. And then, you, uh, of course, there is that um, uh, stinking, uh, I call it, somebody stinks, mm. uh, tobacco uh, passes near you and you wonder, hey, what's happening here? <laughs> I, I, and that reminds me of a colleague who wore my, my coat at one time and I surrendered <laughs> to him because he was a smoker and he, he could uh, put cigarettes in the, my pocket. Mm. So I told him, I just use it. I don't want it. Yeah. yeah so such a fellow would obviously display such. Mm. And then uh, you will find uh, some of these people now, especially if they are the teenagers, they'll start looking very shaggy. One doesn't want to, to dress well uh, and so on. Mm. Then uh, they'll start shying away from people. A smoker, especially those that are hiding, will not want to move near you. So you will easily say, this child has been very close to me. Nowadays, the child doesn't want to move close mm. because the child feels guilty, feels that you will discover mm. because of that. Yeah, so those are some of the very open ones. Of course, uh, when you go further, you'll find somebody's eyes uh, mm. turning um, a bit red uh, with time. You'll find uh, even somebody's skin. It affects even the skin. Mm. Yeah, find the skin being affected, even the hair. You know, tobacco affects every part of the body. Mm. Yeah, so even before you go deeper into now, the real effects where one will start developing diseases mm. such as coughing right. and the cancers, mm. and the, all the manner of diseases you can think about, mm. you will have seen at least those uh, signs on the yeah. outside. All right. Yeah. And now when we come back, we want to have a look at some of the health implications that come with tobacco use and what ought to be done. Our guests still remain with us, but do not go anywhere. Keep talking to us. Talk to us on Twitter at EbruTVKenya and at Purity underscore Mose. Use the hashtag MyDoctor. When we come back, remember to call live. The number will be displayed right at the bottom of your screen. Do not go anywhere where we are coming back shortly. Welcome to the second and the last part of the show. You are watching my doctor show right here with my special guest. We are talking about tobacco use and pregnancy. What are some of the complications that tobacco use can have 
on you as a mother to be and also for your child. Call us live. This is the only chance you have to talk to us because it's the last part of the show. The number is displayed at the bottom of your screen. Talk to us on Facebook, Ebru TV Kenya and Purity Museo or Twitter at Ebru TV Kenya and at Purity underscore Museo. Of course, use the hashtag my doctor. And now help me once again welcome our special guest on the show, Jugi Gitali Chairperson for Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance and Thank Kilen Namusisi who is the advisor, technical advisor for Center for Tobacco Control in Africa. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, and, and Kilen, now it's time that you took us through some of the health implications there are for when you use or you abuse tobacco and after how long maybe someone may be asking before mm -hmm. we could look at women. Okay. Yeah. So when you use tobacco, um, usually, and, and probably I would start with this, the reason why people don't take tobacco you seriously is mm. because um, um, the, 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 the health impacts are long term. So you, it doesn't happen tomorrow. Mm. And this is why people think when we tell them uh, don't abuse tobacco, they think it's a joke. Mm. So apart from the quick physical uh, uh, effects that uh, my colleague here uh, talked about, there are really serious um, health um, effects of tobacco use. And we see cancers. And, and actually, tobacco causes a lot of cancers, mm. cancer, oral cancers, um, cancers in the throat, can pancreatic cancer, cancers in the reproductive uh, 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 system, uh, especially for women, uh, cervical cancer, uh, uh, cancer of the uterus. Um, and then, of course, also the men, uh, mm. penile cancer is being associated with uh, tobacco use, and of course, many other cancers that uh, we, we um, usually, oh, that have already been, you know, mm. uh, published. So cancers are one of the health effects that we get, and nobody wants to die mm. in so, uh, so much excreating pain, you yeah. know, of cancers. Mm. Now, the other uh, effects we see is, is um, heart uh, diseases, or the cardiovascular uh, diseases where we have um, uh, many people who smoke get, you know, the cancers. This is what Joel was talking about, your, your vessels uh, getting smaller and smaller because the tar or the chemicals in the tobacco actually deposit mm -hmm. on the sides of your veins and then it keeps narrowing them. And of course, what happens is that uh, there's less flow of, of blood to your heart. Mm. And of course, that causes um, a lot of problems, including, you know, card cardiovascular mm. diseases. Yeah. We also have um, uh, uh, health effects like um, when we talk about um, uh, the mothers, we have the, the low birth weight, the steel birth. We have uh, placenta abruption where you, the placenta uh, disconnects uh, from the mother and the baby. And of course, what, what is the result? You lose your mm. baby. We have other health effects like uh, the diabetics. You know, uh, people are not aware that actually uh, one of the causes of, 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 of diabetes is actually tobacco abuse or tobacco mm. use. So you get the diabetic uh, disease especially if you use uh, tobacco and of course diabetes has also other causes but tobacco is one of them the other health effects we get are the reproductive uh, the respiratory uh, illnesses what we call uh, chronic uh, respiratory illnesses the cough you talked about the chronic cough which doesn't go you get um, all the problems with the airways and, and, and your lungs and, and of course there are many you know diseases that come out of, um, of smoking. The most common one is the COPD which usually um, especially our mothers uh, it comes due to the bad you know air that we, we, we breathe and it's partly the bad air is partly uh, polluted by tobacco. Mm. So when this all, always comes in when, when people get 45 and above because they have had, in, they've inhaled the bad air uh, from when they are like, you know, teenagers until that age. So then you see, and this is a very painful disease because, you know, it, you know, many old people, people 45 and above have, have this disease and you don't want to die yeah. with that pain. Mm. So those are the, um, the, the, the key, you know, mm. health effects. But there are many, you know, yeah. health effects because um, when, you, when you look at uh, tobacco, 
it affects literally the entire body. He's talked about the skin. It, it makes your skin older. And I'm, I'm sure young people don't want to see their mm. skins look older. Mm. You know, especially the girl, she wants to still continue looking beautiful and all that. The other health effects is dirtening of your teeth. Mm. And I don't think anybody wants to see their <laughs> teeth dirty. Yeah. Oh, and, and of course, bad breath. Is, is the other and you don't want to you know to have bad breath so mm. it's a very common one among people who abuse uh, tobacco mm -hmm. so those are and then of course in the men which is also very critical importance so um, uh, tobacco causes importance for the men apart from the cancers mm. and the cardiovascular diseases and the diabetes there's importance among the men and of course uh, that's a very important mm. uh, issue if we're talking about pregnancy because a pregnancy comes out of two people so uh, the, the male side should also know that they mm. actually uh, should not abuse tobacco so it's not about the woman who mm. carries but it's also about the male partner because then they also have um, mm. effects and if you're impotent then you'll not be able to father the child. Yeah and Kelena I would ask uh, mm. you've talked about impotent for men mm. but now for women does it also reduce the child chances for any for consumption for exactly women. like mm. my colleague said it is um, a very uh, important uh, risk factor when mm. it comes to infertility among women um, and he clearly explained it uh, very well it is it is it can prevent you from uh, conception and then you keep going to the churches to the witch doctors and thinking mm. you know um, um, I have a problem I need help the problem is actually with you so tobacco is about a responsibility. People need to be uh, responsible with their lives, with themselves, and it, it really the message is to the young people. Mm. Please be responsible and make sure you're healthy because this uh, abuse of tobacco, but also secondhand smoke is, like I said, there are no safe levels in mm. tobacco use or in tobacco exposure. So whether secondhand or primary user, mm. infertility for women, impotence for men, and of course, for the women who intend to bring babies into the world, we have already discussed mm. uh, the, 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 the risk mm. factors. Yeah, yeah. And, and maybe because, uh, Ju, you had mentioned, maybe we could just put more emphasis on how now it affects the unborn child. Mm. Yeah. Yes, we, we've, we've had uh, uh, the un um, unborn child is affected because, uh, of course, we have those toxins mm. that enter the body and uh, they start uh, affecting the child even before birth. And that's why the child would uh, be born uh, with the low birth weight because um, the child was not getting enough nourishment while mm -hmm. in the womb. And when this child is born uh, that way, the chances of the child dying, that is increasing infant mortality, mm -hmm. will be high. And if you go to the areas that uh, have tobacco, especially because of course we, we have not mentioned that but we should we should mention it mm -hmm. here that even those mothers who work on tobacco farms anybody working on tobacco farms they normally develop what we call uh, acute nicotine uh, blood poisoning mm -hmm. so the the, the, the uh, nicotine enters uh, through the skin mm -hmm. when you are in touch with the tobacco uh, in any way so these fellows get what that some call it the green leaf disease and all that but the fact is that they get affected so you will find that um, the child is affected in the womb when this child is born the child is of low weight and then therefore all kind of infections because the immunity of this child would be mm. very low mm. so they are prone to all those kind of things and then they have what we call delayed milestones a child doesn't grow well mm. that human growth and development mm. uh, aspect of it is really affected then also as we have said uh, the mother can as well miscarry because mm. of what uh, she has so well yeah. explained. Mm. Yeah, you find you are losing your child. And then you start wondering what you jumped on, who mm. looked at you, how. <laughs> <laughs> you see, all those kind of things. When it is you who did all these things, mm. but you want to try and say it is somebody else who did it. Yeah. And um, the, the, the child might also be born, but with some deformities. Mm. 
because we know that tobacco, the way it affects uh, you as a, a human being, it will be affecting the child as well. Mm. So the child can even lose sight because it causes blindness. Mm. So it can even do that to the unborn child. Yeah. So the child is born with the defects already. Mm. Mm. Then you start uh, feeling that maybe, oh, God doesn't uh, <laughs> uh, come in when you have acted irresponsibly. Yeah. Mm. It is you. Mm. You have bewitched your child before birth. Mm. So you are giving birth to a child whom you have bewitched. Then you want to blame the neighbor. Yeah. You want to blame somebody else. It is yourself. Mm. So those kind of things affect the, 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 the unborn child. This child will be born with um, um, some retarded, uh, uh, some kind of retardation in the way they do things. Mm. They will be mentally retarded. You will find a child not doing things like other children. Right. So when the child is in school and the teacher says, this is A, and asks, what is this? The mm. child says, O. Oh, because you know now mm. that child is not yeah. even uh, proper. Mm. Uh, yeah. So you have actually affected this child's uh, mm. um, mental capacity. Yeah. The child will not be like other children. Mm. And now you will start beating the child. Why have you gotten a D? Why have you failed an exam? And you are the cause of that. Because mm. this child could have been mentally upright. Mm. But now you affected the child by driving toxins into the child's uh, brain before the child was even born. Mm. So if we want the children to be born as the children that we are supposed to have, then we must keep away from this. Yeah. And I still say a spouse is equally responsible. Mm. If you are expectant and you have a husband or a wife who smokes, mm. tell this person that you are a witch. You are bewitching my child before birth. Mm. You want me to miscarry. You know, there are many cases that happen, and mostly women carry the blame mm. that he, this, this woman just miscarries. When it is this man that supplies the mm. poison that makes you to yeah. actually to miscarry, mm. but mm. then we never look at that. Mm -hmm. so and and are the it. impact that both of you are talking about that come with tobacco use, uh, like for other conditions, we have treatment options for different conditions. But now when you have impacts related, I know you talked about cancer, are they irreversible, especially the signs and symptoms, mm. especially the impact? Kellen, what would you say? Like, are they treatable? They are treatable, but they, 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 they usually are terminal uh, illnesses yeah. because um, once you, see you have cancer, it is, uh, the chances are very low that you will you know, heal mm. from that cancer, especially certain cancers. Mm. Now, when it comes to, um, so, so you're, in, for instance, uh, 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 terminally, uh, you're terminally ill mm. and then you're on treatment all your life. So the quality of life actually is low. When we talk about the heart, once your heart, you know, when you hear these adverts uh, protect your heart, mm. they have a reason because they don't, want, they don't want your heart to get sick. You know, because once it, once it gets sick, there's no, there's no replacement. You'll have a pacemaker in your heart. You'll have, you know, a bypass. You know, your heart is not normal anymore. So we, ne we don't need to, 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 to uh, uh, beat about the bush that, yes, there is treatment and you can have a, 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 a quality, you know, improved, so to say, sick life, but you're sick. You know, this is the whole thing. When you're impotent, I don't think that is irreversible. Mm. When, when you lose your child, I don't think you can reverse mm. that. So the whole message here is that these are chronic illnesses mm. that you're going to live with until when you go. So the, the message is prevention. You know, this is the, the, the most important thing. People need to prevent to get there because once you get into the Cancer Institute, it's not always good news. Some mm. cancers, of course, have healed. Yeah, and then, uh, but the percentage in Africa is very low because of many reasons. We don't have good care systems, health care systems. We don't have uh, resources. Those are very expensive uh, uh, illnesses to manage, you know, because, um, for instance, a study in Uganda shows that uh, you need over uh, 14 uh, million mm. shillings um, a year to manage um, one of these four mm. uh, tough uh, NCDs, which is either uh, diabetes cardiovascular cancer or the, the respiratory. So it, that's a lot of money 
I mean, in, a, an ordinary African cannot afford. Mm. So it, it really brings down your quality of life. And at the end of the day, of course, we lose many mm. uh, people to yeah. these illnesses. And, and, and Kellen, there are so many, there, there's so much advocacy when it mm. comes to tobacco use mm. control. Yes. But still the numbers, both of you say, they are still high and high. Apart from addiction, what are some of other challenges there are when it comes to tobacco control? Okay. Maybe in, in Kenya, in Africa. Yeah. Just tell us what's happening. Sure. Um, a number of challenges. Maybe let me start with uh, the uh, 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 strategies that have put, then I can talk about the mm. challenges. In terms of strategies, like I said, uh, the, 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 the world came together and agreed that tobacco is actually a problem. And not only a health problem, but a social, economic, environment, and all that, an agricultural problem, a, a food security problem, because communities that grow are food insecure, mm. you know, and then it depletes tobacco, depletes the soils and the environment. So the world came together and, uh, pu and put together, agreed uh, with the guidance of WHO to put together the framework convention to control tobacco. And countries have ratified, signed, and they've done laws. So that's a very big step, legislation, to regulate the tobacco industry. They've gone ahead to put smoke-free environments, to warn people on the dangers, to uh, uh, tax uh, the cigarettes highly so that we can reduce consumption, especially among the poor and the youth. They've gone ahead to uh, do advocacy, uh, like uh, Ketka is doing uh, excellent advocacy, to tell people and also engage policymakers, the government, to do something. So strategies are in place. Of course, not uniform in Africa. Some countries have really taken on the mantle uh, very well. Some countries are still uh, yeah. really dragging. And, and Kelly, just allow me to cut you short. Yes. We have a call. Maybe we can hear okay. what they have to say. Okay. All right. Hello? Hello? All right, we've lost her. I hope she's going to call back. Okay. Let's continue. So, so after talking about those strategies, there are challenges. Like you mentioned, the first uh, challenge is, of course, with the user, mm -hmm. which is addiction. But there are bigger challenges. We have the tobacco industry that has continued mm -hmm. to undermine and fight uh, tobacco control policies across uh, the globe. They, they, they have, of course, shifted uh, business more into Africa from the U.S. and Europe because they have tougher laws in Europe and in the U.S. So they've come to Africa where the laws are there, but most countries are not implementing. So that's the other first challenge I'll tell you. Uh, law implementation in terms of uh, policy. Mm. People have signed, ratified, they have a law, but when you look at a level of implementation, it's law. And why is it low? That's another challenge. Financing and, and government, mm. you know, uh, political will and uh, buy-in. Governments in Africa are still grappling with communicable diseases, the mm. TBs, the, the HIV, the malaria, diseases of poverty like diarrhea. So when you tell a government that, look, NCDs have come and the single most risk factor is tobacco use, please address tobacco. They're saying, wait, I have to deal with HIV, I have to deal with malaria, I have to deal with TB. And rightly so, but, but the more we delay, the more the epidemic is eating up. And then tomorrow we are going to see a dual or double epidemic. Mm. So the governments are slow in Africa. And then the funding is a big issue. And then we have the tobacco industry that is aggressively advertising in Africa, reaching out to the young people through the social media uh, uh, platforms, through very coveted advertising to kids, um, having you know, kids you know, exposed to these tobacco products at a young age. So that's a very big uh, challenge that we have. So we have to monitor, we have to respond to this interference. And of course, the other big one is that the industry is reaching out to policymakers and uh, talking to them not to take on tobacco control regulation, for instance. Mm -hmm. And this has happened here in Kenya, where the industry has sued government. And, uh, and that delays the implementation. It slows, it, it intimidates. Uh, the advocates, the, the government. So governments coil a bit and say, okay, am I ready to take on um, a wealthy industry like the tobacco industry? So those are some of the challenges. Mm. Of course, capacity is the other challenge. NCDs is not um, a, a, an easy subject. Somebody needs to understand what they are doing, especially mm. when it comes to risk factors like tobacco use, uh, uh, tobacco use or tobacco control for that matter. So we need everybody. We need lawyers. 
we need um, uh, 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 the advocates, we need the teachers to come on board, we need the doctors to come on board, we need the social scientists, we need the media like you to, you know, uh, put out um, the, 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 the issues on, on tobacco control mm. and set the agenda for tobacco control in Africa. So th those are some of the mm. challenges we are seeing uh, globally. Yeah. And of course, in, in, uh, in Kenya, like I mentioned, the industry is really, really a challenge. The good news is that uh, Kenya has got excellent advocates and excellent people who are taking on. And the government is pro-tobacco mm. because they have a law, they have a policy in place, they have a tobacco control board in place, they have strong advocate institutions, they have the media that is working. So the pace may be slow, but they have taken on uh, mm. and they are on the good uh, yeah. pace. And, and my director tells me we have like three minutes to wind up. But just before then, uh, Joe, you could tell us uh, still we are using, there's tobacco use in the country still. And from what I understand, the government should be more powerful than the industry. What's happening? Is it a, is there a sort of intimidation when it comes to advocacy? Or why is, why, why, why are we, is it taking long for maybe Kenya? Of course, we have to appreciate that there was a ban of shisha use in the country, but why is it taking long to implement the law that we put in place? Yeah, in Kenya, what has disturbed us for a long time, one is uh, corruption. We have those who um, get money from the industry. We've heard of cases We've, um, uh, by the, um, the media has been very good to us. Uh, they show us what's happening. Mm -hmm. We've heard of these cases um, uh, from our media here and from the international media some very key people who are bribed. Mm -hmm. So you see, when the policymakers and those that we implement are uh, compromised, things don't work. There is impunity. Those who feel that they are too powerful, they can do things the way they want to do them and nobody will touch them. Mm -hmm. That's why the research we did recently showed that uh, uh, displaying at the point of sale is the order of the day in mm -hmm. Kenya, and yet it is wrong. The, yesterday I was at the Kenyatta University gate and you find fellows are selling their sweets and cigarettes and juices and all that. You see, that's the university gate. Mm. Who are they targeting? The young people mm. at the university. And nobody is touching them. That's impunity. Mm. So that's the one thing that we, we are seeing. Whereas the national government comes up with very good policies, mm. but implementation is poor mm. because um, um, like health is a devolved function, mm. we should have a lot of cooperation at the county level. Mm. So we need everybody to mm. come on board and do what is required. So we don't actually lack the laws. The laws are there, the policies are there, but implementation is a problem mm. because of the culture that we have had in the, in, in the country, whereby people look the other side uh, when the wrong things are going on mm. and then it's like nothing is going on All right. and that frustrates even the top uh, mm. leadership of the country. I think it's a discussion that we need to have once again because yeah. it seems one hour is not enough to talk about the tobacco use. Baju Gitali, who is the chairperson for Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance, thank you so much. And Kellen, I don't know how to thank you coming all the way from Uganda just to be with us. Thank you so much. We appreciate, of course, looking forward to hosting you once again. But that's all the time we had for the show. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, and thank you so much for keeping us company. Of course, the show continues next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, same place and same time. I'm Purity Musil. Enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>